that his horse is quite savage, so I didn't get too close. Just wanted to ask how he was attacking the race today, and he said, yes, he is going forward. He's going to be very positive from that barrier. I asked him if he'd had to sit on the horse in between races, and he said, no, he doesn't ride her. Nikki Burt does all the work on her, so she's obviously a little bit of a handful, um, and we can see that as she goes around to the barriers. She's uh, pig rooting, lifting those legs up. She's ready to fire today, but that's very customary for her, and she's been very relaxed behind the barriers. Just had a good look at Alligator Blood, who looked absolutely outstanding. I think this horse just gets better every time I see him. Also really took notice of Val and Declare, who's certainly travelling the right way and really starting to look like he's getting near his peak. Another one I really like, Jewess as well. She looks to have uh, come round nicely. But we're going to head up to Matt Hill now for the calling of this race. The field's loading away. Alan Kerr is in. Alligator Blood, the winner of six Group 1s, comes up. The Melbourne Cup winner of 2019, Bow and Declare, is forward. Nonconformist takes another turn. Just fine. The Metrop winner is in. He's a shocker, goes up. So they're just about right as Nonconformist with Harry Coffey takes the middle alley. Now a seven-year-old Nonconformist. And here is Dewis with Blake Shin, the well-supported third favourite. The group one, Ned's might and power, and the field is set to run. Stand by. Signal, and they're racing. Pretty good line too. Forgot You goes back to the end. Deny knowledge to the lead from Lindemann and Alligator Blood not far away. Just fine at this stage is a length and a half off Alligator. They were followed by Nonconformist. He's a shocker. Forgot You. Alan Kerr, Vow and Declare. And Jewess on the fence is last. They're starting the climb. 15.50 out and Deny Knowledge has taken hold here of Billy Pin and led by about four lengths. Alligator Blood is second. Two lengths to Lindemann. Followed by Just Fine off the rails. A length and a half to he He's a shocker, three wide, and then Nonconformist Forgot You is back in the field with Vow and Declare. Alan Kerr, second last, Jewess last. So deny knowledge at the top of the hill at the 1,200 metres, led the might and power field by eight or nine lengths. Alligator Blood is second, two and a half to Just Fine third. Then came Lindemann, two and a half, he's a shocker, Nonconformist. Three lengths away, Vow and Declare. Then came Forgot You, second last, Alan Kerr, and Jewess is last. So deny knowledge, swings through halfway, at the 950, eight or nine lengths in front of Alligator Blood doing the donkey work. A length and a quarter to Just Fine. Then came Lindemann. A length and a quarter, he's a shocker. Then Nonconformist, Vow and Declare, Forgot You, Alan Kerr, and two and a half to Jewess. 700 metres to go. It's Deny Knowledge starting to paddle now. Five lengths in front of Alligator Blood, make it four. Then came Just Fine, who sooled up from Lindemann. Two lengths to He's a Shocker, Nonconformist. Then Vow and Declare a long way back with Alan Kerr, Forgot You and Dewis's last. Deny Knowledge with Alligator Blood now, breathing down her neck and around the corner. Alligator Blood went to the front from Deny Knowledge, who's gone. Then Lindemann just fine, bow and declare and Dewis back on the inside. Alligator Blood, 200 metres to go, four lengths in front of Dewis, bow and declare running a race and then non-conformist, but it is all Alligator Blood, a seventh group one coming up and Alligator Blood wins it by two lengths what a run bow and declare Jewess third then non-conformist Alan Kerr denied knowledge he's a shocker Lindemann forgot you and last was just fine if you want more horse racing content make sure you click out our brand new website site